T boxing here. This is Mr. A. Give you a breakdown and prediction for the cruiserweight bout in the WBS going down between Myris Bradis and um, Mike Perez. Taking place September 30th, 2017. This fight has me a little intrigued. You got a layoff in Mike Perez. In his last three fights is a two-year span. He's went three rounds, maybe four rounds. Um, you know, he looked great. He looked in shape-wise, physique-wise, he looked good in his last fight. But the opponent uh, fell, hurt his ankle, wasn't or some something with his foot, and just was not able to. Uh, Go go on. I think it was like first twenty seconds of the fight, so it would be real really interesting to get a engage on what Mike Perez was now as a cruiserweight. Um, so going into the tournament based off that and no cruiserweight experience, I guess it's pretty pretty uh, gutsy, you know, because we knew what uh, Mike Perez as a heavyweight was, but still, you know, maybe. L losing his weight, who knows? But he says he's had a long time to get in shape. Should uh, going against uh Breedis, the the champ. So let's do this breakdown because this is going to be an interesting fight, I believe. I believe it's uh it's going to be a thing of uh, energy. Uh, who's going to gas out first? Is it going to be the ring rust of Mike Perez? Is that going to creep into this? Or um, will Breeders gas tank gas out? Now, going to this breakdown, you know how we do it. We're going to start from the, the feet up, legs and the feet. The legs and the feet. Mike Perez is a heavy puncher, but it's due to, I think, his, his legs are stiff. His legs are thick and massive. He has some massive thighs. He could generate a lot of power in those punches from his thighs. So his, his legs depend. His legs are str strong, but they're slow. They're they're really like planet. And when he's throwing, they seem to lock up. If not like completely lock up, they seem to be almost too stur sturdy up and down. When he's doing, especially like an inside game. It seems like his legs are like planted and he kind of leans and so they're kind of straight. So they could be, he to me, later on in the fight, his legs can be uh, damaging to him. It seems like maybe they might lock up or be straight and it could, you can hit him off balance because he's so straight up and down with his legs. Now as for Breedis... His legs, he's, he's always on the tip of his toes, it seems like. You know, fighting, whether it's attacking or uh, evading, he's always on the tip of his toes. So, a, a major part of his defense is the ability, ability to be on his toes and kind of like hop out of a danger zone. He does it with his hands down a little too much for me, so you could, you could follow him with a, with a jab, kind of like a, we just saw... Genesis duel against Oscar Valdez being followed from retreating. I think that is exactly you could do that with uh, Breedis. He does the same thing. He kind of retreats with his hands down. You can follow him with a jab. But his legs back to what his legs are we do see that his legs are good for bouncing in and bouncing out. His feet, the fact that he's on his balls and his feet, his feet set him up nicely to maybe just inch over to the left, inch over to the right to create boxing angles. So with the feet and legs, like I said, Mike Perez's feet are slow to me. They need to be, pl they really generate, pl like his feet work doesn't allow him to be as successful as going backwards, whereas Breedis feet work allow him to at least jab on the, the, the retreat mode. I don't think uh, Bre um, Perez has the footwork to retreat and jab. Wow, his feet are just his feet won't work with him that way either with his legs. Breed his legs allow him to retreat in and out and retreat with a jab. And his feet work are fancy enough. 
Now I'm giving the I'm giving the the feet and legs to Breedis. Punching power and hand speed and all that good arm stuff. I honestly think they're equal here. I think they both uh, got pretty much about the same amount of speed. Except I don't know where what Mike Perez was seeing, but going off his previous history, Magno Perez, um, Jennings. Uh, Pervekin, he showed pretty good speed in his hands before he got knocked out. You could take that knockout how you want to take it. Pervekin looked pretty good in that. I mean, his physique looked pretty good, and you know his history, so take it how you want to take it. Um, but he got he, he got cracked with a good shot. <laughs> now for hands, but like I said, to me, both these guys throw the same. Uh, they got the same arsenal of punches. They both got a good body attack. They both could jab the body. They both got. They both uh, worked themselves in with jabs. They both will punch with you. So, punching wise, I think this fight has tremendous amount of um, a tremendous amount. What's the word? Anticipation for an exciting fight. And um, the only thing I could see maybe happening, uh, I think. Breedis has a better uppercut. I think he delivers it at better timing. But they both have, like I said, hook for hook, uppercut for uppercut, jab for jab, body work for body work. I think these guys kind of balance each other out on that. It's, and for head movement and defense, I actually give it to uh, Perez. He, let's be for us, yeah, Perez. He's more like I said. He's more of a, a waist mover. Because like his legs are heavy and planted. He, he just kind of moves with his leg, his waist. He hit a little head movement. Try to catch him with his hands. While Breedis, he's in and out with his feet. In and out with his feet. His legs allow him to go in and out with certain angles. He might, you know, top here like an inch and a half here, inch and a half here, just enough to make you shoot a different angle. But he, he's he's a lot of times on his his in and out feet, you know. They both, to me, get hit too much for being a, a division with some uh, some hit hitters. They get hit too much with jabs. So, um, defense wise, because of the faster feet and legs, I say uh, Breedis has better defense. Cause yes, he's getting hit just as much as Perez is going to get hit. But he uh, he's a uh, he, his in and out legs allow him to, especially his legs going backwards. I think he can uh, evade more shots than Perez, whose tree trunk thigh allow him just to kind of be set still. He can't hop backwards like uh, Breedis can. Now that being a, a breakdown, I am going to go with. Um, I think. I think. Perez cannot breed us out. I think he has the slightly, maybe slightly better punching power. But I just don't think he has the legs to constantly get to breed us. Because breed us will move. So that being said, my prediction is I'm going with Maurice breed us to stop Mike Perez in about the 10th 11th round I think they're gonna be gassed and I think the in and out movement is gonna allow Perez to follow Breedis around and I think the fact that Breedis can go in and out he's gonna be catching him with step back uppercuts and um, the step back uppercuts is gonna do some damage and I think the pull back right the pull back counter with the right hand Breedis his feet will allow him to catch Mike Perez quite few, quite a few times in the fight, and by the ninth, I mean by the tenth, eleventh round, they both going to do enough body damage, and I think Perez, along with that two year, three rounds in two years, I don't, I don't believe no matter how good of a shape you could be in this gym and the sparring, they always say you just need those real time rounds, so. Based on that, I'm going with a Breedis 
stopping Mike Perez in like the 10th, 11th round, somewhere in there. This is Mr. A. Thanks for the support. See you on the next video. Mr. A is out.